Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another... Well, I can't really call this an indie horror game. This is a horror game. It's Supermassive's prologue to the casting of Frank Stone, which is going to be released very soon. Um, it looks like Supermassive Games have teamed up with Behaviour Interactive's world of Dead by Daylight to bring a new storyline involving a sadistic killer prowling a mill within the town of Cedar Hills. So without further ado, let's begin. Observer, you will witness suffering, but survival is expected. Survivor, you will not escape torment, but you may survive and sacrifice, leave beyond all hope of survival. Let's go, I guess, the medium dif difficulty. Let's go with the medium difficulty. Why not? Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives and others will cause death. I sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Well, there you go. A hooded figure. You have the POV of some kind of creature. Yeah, doggo. Oh, yeah, doggo. Getting very Freddy Krueger vibes here. Ah, would that be the eponymous Frank Stone, perhaps? He likes doggies. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Maybe he just... Oh. That sounds like a baby. That's a baby. I was just literally about to say, he doesn't seem so bad. He's by his tool shed. He's by his workbench. He's making himself a little mask. He's perhaps scared of little kitties of the town. But then you had the baby crying. Hmm. So I assume this is the mill that we will be investigating. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is a prologue that's going to be in the actual full game that's released very soon. And if this will be included in the full game or whether this is like a standalone hunt for missing infant continues. Oh. So he's stolen the baby. Ne never good when you steal the baby. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a standalone thing. And we got our first uh, bit of stuttering. Which will probably happen throughout because uh, I don't have the the most, uh, you know, exquisite rig. The Burning Moor. Cedar Steel Mill, 1963. Hello, I kissed my sweetie with my fist. Oh. <laughs> Such a dramatic zoom in of a badge. Sam. Just gone past nine. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Hmm. 
So we've got our first. We can we became concerned. Unit dog, a security or serious? I need to ask you a few questions. Uh, let's go with serious. Let's uh, make Sam a serious a cop. Questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about. I know what about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You Hot think diggity damn. Here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Tom, I gotta say, yeah, I am a little bit skeptical of that. Uh, you were just snoozing before I turned up here. Sounds like a lot of grounds cover. Can I check your records? Um, gonna go with skeptical. With my first instinct. Are you yeah. sure? Sounds like a lot of ground to cover for just you and your dog. It's a big job, yes, sir. But ain't it the magnitude of the labor that keeps a man alert and ready for action? You mean the way you were just sleeping there when I caught you? And that you've been obviously drinking as well. Uh, been drinking? I don't want to be disapproving. Let's, uh, yeah, if we, we go with that, he might sort of turn on us. So let's go with the questioning. Notice anything suspicious. Have you noticed anything yeah. suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh, nothing. 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 Hmm. That sounds like a lie. Why, heck, if you don't believe me, ask your boss. My boss? Sheriff Kusich. Right. My boss. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here, and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? I beg okay, to differ, down. sir. And he got back in his car and left. Hmm. Huh. That's all the sheriff said. Doubtful, surprise. So nobody's actually checked the mill. I'm gonna go with the surprise angle. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mill for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? Yes. No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Dog's not going to attack me, right? If I'm investigating the place. Thank you for your help. Because I am Tom. a stranger here. Happy to oblige. You weren't much help, Tom. I've got to be honest. See the lakes. Lure him in. So here we go. Investigating the mill. Is Merlin watching us? Hmm. Alright, we are in control. Yeah! So, I'm intrigued by the casting of Frank Stone. Um, I'm not a massive Dead by Daylight fan, so uh, I'm not sure if the lore around that is going to be involved in this at all. Uh, but I do like supermassive games. I do like... Oh, we can squeeze through here. Man of Medan, the very early entry. Um, Little Hope, House of Ashes, The Devil and Me, The Quarry. I've played them all, um, and there does seem to be progress. Oh, what do we have over here? Progress made with each one. Um, for example, we got a little box. Oh, little chess piece, eh? You're a decent king. She promised to take away my pain, take away my nightmares. We can turn it round. We've got the cursor there as well. No, we'll just pocket that. Just a collectible, I guess. Um, 
one of two, it said. So maybe there's another one around here. Storage shed. Yeah. I have a, a kind of love-hate relationship with some of the Supermassive's games. Um, I like the cinematic quality that are given to the games. I love the choices, effects, the outcome. Uh, I'm one of those kind of people, I ever try to save everyone. Oh. Or everyone will die. I don't like being in between when there's just like literally, you know, one person has died but the rest survive. I kind of feel that I've cheated myself. So, yeah. Not sure how the cast of Frank Stone is going to go. But I'll be playing it. We'll see how we go. An open window. Oh. I can get in through there. Ah, uh, the old yellow cloth, say. Surely, if the Night Watchman was there, I'd be able to just take the key from him, and I'd be able to just make my way around. Maybe. Search for the missing child. The golden child. The child of power. Yeah. Squeezing through the logs again. I mean, this is 1967. Health and safety was not a thing back then. So, you know. Yeah, the quarry was quite good. I did like the quarry. Um, but a lot of Supermassive's games are a lot like this, to be honest with you. There's a lot of segments of just walking around. Not really doing anything. Not really being able to interact with anything much. And then you get like a... Uh, Save Heather or save Steven. And it's like, well, can I can I not do both? No. Well, I think we have something here. What have we got here? Friday 13th. Uh-oh. Afternoon. 2 to 10. Harold Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stur Oh. Move Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fella's going to have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front no one's working nights for a while. So Frank Stone has actually worked at the mill. We have another door here. Can we? No, we cannot. So it is good that certain items are highlighted for our convenience. Oh, we have a file cabinet. Oh, oh I see. Grab and then... Locked, eh? Ah. Oh, but a clipboard fell off. Employees, personal records. February 4th. Preferred name, Tiff. Ha ha. Sheenist. Criminal record, one charge, assault, robbery. Hmm. A male employee got his job thanks to an endorsement from Dr. Lieber. Interesting. Oh. What was that? You'll not be able to... Well, I don't think we've got much else to... Um, to see here. But we do have a name. A Dr. Lieberman. It is incredibly atmospheric. That is something to be said. That's hardcore. The harshest flame yields the hardest steel. Howard Kinsey Esther. Hmm. Very fire and brimstone. Did that? Can I pick up the shovel? I mean, I am a cop. I've got a gun. So if anything comes at me, I, got, I can come out blasting. I can come out blasting. Hello? Anyone here? Yeah, I was already sprinting. Police. Come on. Are we squeezing through here. Didn't shock me. Didn't get me there. Things on the grounds. No. Aha. What is ah around here perhaps? Another little no, it's an open box. It is quite a dark game. You can adjust the brightness. I think this is just setting in the mood, you know. Nothing in the little crate, no. 
Nothing to do but move on in. Mm, getting... Who's there? I'm gonna go upstairs first. Can we go in here? We cannot. Can we traverse around here? No, we cannot. Then why have the ladder up here if it doesn't lead me anywhere else? Can I see what that noise was? It looked fleshy. It, sa it sounded fleshy. Maybe we're going to find Merlin. Ugh, smells like death. Death is not a good smell, my friend. Mr. Green, officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Respect uh, my authority. We haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Uh, sorry. Uh, you all right there? Uh, yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah. <laughs> uh, it can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. Like your ass. Well, we've got Tom with us now. Where are you, Tom? Can we talk to Tom? We cannot talk to Tom. But he's with us, so I feel a little bit better. There's a lot of nook and crannies. Feels like there will be a lot of areas to kind of try and check out for collectibles. And if you're that kind of achievement hunter type of person that likes... Oh, is that Merlin? No. Oh. Merlin! There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. Oh. Oh, Merlin's been tainted. He's had the good meat. The Come human here, meat. Boy. Dig name it. Sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. That's just goo. What is that? Like a meat pile. Oh, that's uh, a piece of liver or something? What is that? Some giblets, it looks like. It doesn't seem that there's anything worthwhile noting here. All right. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. Hmm. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Frank Stone, What's you that? diabolical bastard. Some kind of wiener mate? Wiener mate? <laughs> oh no, that's a that's an ear. Uh that's an ear right there. Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Um, well, we know we're looking for an infant toddler, um, so I'm guessing not. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. Right, so the fact that we first turned up and we're like, Tom was like, ah, there's no one here. There's no one here. We're all good. Me and Merlin. Now we're just seeing some gunky human pile of goo from a bin. Yeah. I think I'd be drawing my weapon right about now. What do we have here? Oh, is this where I store my things? Is these the collectibles that you can get throughout the whole game? Okay. 
It's a bit weird to put that there. Um, once again, could be some kind of reference to Dead by Daylight. Sound? Not sure. Stay behind me. Or, as you're the Night Watchman and you should know where to go and what to do, then maybe you should go up front. Huh? How about that? How about them pickles? Alright. Ah, a great. So, what is this thing? A great? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. Come on, Tom, you, you don't know? know? Sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Find something to pry open the gate. Hmm. We go through here. Ah, climb. So basically, whenever you see a little uh, little blanky <laughs> on top of the, you can climb it. All right. Uh, am I? What am I looking for here? A hacksaw. Ah, oh, no, a crowbar. Gotcha. Some items can be kept and used later. Hmm. Can I just open the gate now? Is that something I can do? No? I have to climb back over. Really? No help here, Tom? Nothing? Alright. Stand back. Okay. Our first uh, quickie time event. Fairly easy. Come on, Sam. Put some elbow grease into it. Let's get that grate up. Jesus, how heavy is this grate? You want to help out, Tom? Into the bowels of hell we go. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? Down, obviously. You really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, boy, I don't know. Frustrated or supportive? Um, I'm going to be supportive. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I can't do this. Mm, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure Tom's going to call this in. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. You put your faith in Tom. Interesting. Okay. But in reality, we're doing the legwork here. All I'm asking Tom to... Oh, God damn it, Sam. All I'm asking him to do is go back to the car and radio in for backup, which I probably should have done when I saw the, you know, the ear at the very beginning. Find a way to the furnace chamber. Um, well, let's just have a look. Can I see the... Okay. 
Oh, look at star file relics. Um, they usually have the um, how the outcome is being. I can't see it. Okay, no worries. Right, finding a way to the furnace. Uh, what do we have down here? Furnace access. That's telling me to. Oh, I can look. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the. Oh, oh, I. Was that some kind of graffiti? I'm going to go this way because it's telling me to go the other way. Can we see a bit more, perhaps? It's a great setting for a kind of horror. Being in a mill and all. Left or right? Which way do we go? Um, well, we're going right because the furnace access is that way. So we want to see if there's any more things we can find. No, apparently not. Well, apparently we're going to the furnace access then. Yeah, that's the thing with some of the this supermassive caves. Um, it's just that, you know, you're just going walking around and there'll be like dead ends with nothing there. No reasoning. Ah, uh, we do have something here though. A locket. Okay. Do we have any... Nope, just putting it back down. So, this is obviously the killer's lair, right? Luring his... Um, victims. I'm, I'm hearing... What am I coughing up here? I thought those were footsteps, but they are pretty much droplets. Are we going down further? Or are we going across here? Hmm. A guy could get lost in a place like this, you know? Did we just come this way? No, I'm getting lost. Yeah, we did. How did I turn back on myself? Alright. This place turns my stomach. Climb over here. Ah, we have a little doll. The hillbilly. The twisted man turn monster. So you got relics and then you got collectibles. I'm assuming that's a, a dead by daylight. Uh, one of the one of the bad guys that you can play. So we are obviously gonna have a lot of references to the game there. Goddamn small species. Sam, I don't know what you're doing, my friend. I will call him for backup. Oh, we have a little squeezy part, do we? Oh no. I hate the skill checks. My reflexes are not good. Oh, apparently are. That was quite quick, though. That was quite quick. They're just going to come out of nowhere in the future. We go through the door here. No, there's so many locked doors. Just open a door. Give me some exploration. Most of this game is just going to be running around looking at... Oh, we do have a ladder though. But I didn't... I need to investigate the other... Can I not go back now? Is that, like, blocked off to me now, is it? Yeah. Alright, so I shouldn't have gone down in a squeezy little hole. I should have actually gone... explored further. Okay! Now we're in the red-hot, fiery furnace room. That's a big damn furnace. We oh, hear a baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Son of a fuck. Crip. Shit. And there he is. Mr. Stone. The ramp or the ladder? Oh, no, come on. If I go to the ladder, then he's going to be up the top there, isn't he?
Uh oh. Ooh, that was right on. Look at that. Got his little mask. Hardened steel. Looks like a boar. Come on, so how could you not see him? He was right there. Oh, it's not looking good for Sam. Oh. Oh, does that mean I got it? Yeah. Oh, we're kicking his ass. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. <sighs> Ouchie. Oh. Oh. Uh, did we just get impaled? Oh, we just got Texas Chainsaw Massacred. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. We're not dead. Come on, Sam. Pull it together. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh. Yeah, we can get that. We can get that pole off. Fate changed. You freed yourself from the pipe. Huh. There are, is our hooded lady. Oh. Come on, Sam. You've got this, Sam. Straight between the eyes. He shot Frank Stone and saved the child. Good to know. Oh, Frankie baby. Straight through the jaw. I mean, he didn't seem to be a talkative type anyway, so, you know. But his soul is escaping. Ah. And there you go. The Casting of Frank Stone, a story of cosmic proportions. Delve into the mystery of Cedar Hills alongside a cast of characters bound together on a twisted single-player journey where nothing is quite as it seems. Hmm, okay. Well, there you go, guys. That was the demo or the prologue for The Casting of Frank Stone. Um, the game is going to be released uh, very shortly, and I do enjoy the whole consequences have actions um, you know, narrative-driven pieces, so I will be playing this. Um, it'll probably be a couple of playthroughs, I guess, because um, these games usually last about maybe four or five hours. I'm going to go through it blind, I'm going to go through it, you know, hell or high water, whatever decisions I make, we're going to go with the consequences. I'm usually the type of person that tries to save everyone, um, try to be a white knight, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, if people are going to die, people are going to die. Um, the quick time events didn't seem particularly too taxing. Um, it's just going to be, I guess, when they come about. Um, yeah, as I said before, like I do, I do love the narrative, cinematic sort of approach that Supermassive Games give in their previous titles. Um, I'm sometimes let down a little bit by the kind of just monotonous walking around, and in this demo as well, there seemed to be a bit of that. So, 
We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, tell me what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be fairly soon. Stay ghoulish. Bye.